there is a dog in the cheetah cage. Most of y'all probably already know why there's a dog in the cheetah's crib, but for those that don't, you're welcome in advance. Cheetahs get bodied by every aspect of life. It's so bad that up to 90% of cheetah cubs will be in the ground before their first birthday. And apparently the generational trauma of being a Cheeto-flavored doorman has given them severe anxiety. Cheetahs in captivity often experience high stress. It's so bad that many cheetahs are too shy to mate. Can't really afford to be shy when you're really one bad year away from being endangered. A solution? Some zoos like the San Diego Safari Park will assign emotional support dogs for the introverted wildcats. The idea is that the cheetahs model their behavior after the dogs and take social cues from them, all while gaining a much needed friend. By having a morality boost in the form of a dog, the cheetahs gain confidence and become less agitated, which makes it easier to get them to mate and make more of themselves. To somehow make this story even more wholesome, many of the dogs San Diego used were rescued from shelters. In fact, this dog named Hopper was actually taken from a kill shelter. The cheetah cubs are first introduced to their new best friends when they're about three to four months old, when they go on supervised playdates. If they seem to get along, the cheetah and the dog are both moved into the same living space, where they become roommates and basically spend every moment together. Except when eating, but only because the dog would eat all the cheetah's food if you gave him the chance. Other than that, they're pretty much inseparable. Reason 9000 we don't deserve dogs.